Hey guys, I am Al and I'm going to show you how to install a SATA 3 or 6 gigabit solitaire drive in your Mac Pro while using 6 gigabit speeds which are over 230 to 550 megabytes a second which you can only usually get in new computers but unfortunately the Mac Pro SATA bus can't handle that and that's why we have this. It's an Apricorn Velocity 2 PCI Express card. Now because this uses the PCI Express bus it's not saturated nearly as fast or as easily as the old SATA 2 bus or 3 gigabits per second one. Now you can get this anywhere from around $70 to 99 euro depending on where you buy it and what you do is you plug in your solid state drive onto that and that into the same type of slot where the graphics cards go or sound card. Quite simple and I'll show you how to do it right now. Alright so here we have that just open this and take that out and you can see it comes with a piece of tape with the screws you need already. Take this out nice and easy. There we go, move that out of the way. And there you can see, there's the screws and a piece of tape. Now you'll have to excuse the lighting. It's Ireland and uh, it's always overcast, especially now with winter coming up. So we'll just take this and a piece of tape off. There we go. There you can see where the solid state drive is supposed to go, right there. But it also has an extra SATA port in case you want to hook up another hard drive. And the nice thing about the Apricorn card is you can actually boot your operating system from it, which means it doesn't need to use the drivers in the operating system. As you can see, four holes for the screws, and there's the connection right in there. You can get a nice and close for you there. And it's a blank card because it doesn't actually need anything. Pretty simple. There's the controller chip and everything you need. So I'll put that down nice and gently. And here's my Samsung Evo 250 gig drive. Now, I only need 250 gigs because I'm only going to have apps on it and my operating system. All my storage and everything is on mechanical drives and a RAID array. You don't really need solid state for that. So, next thing is now. You can see the little arrow right there with the connections. We need to fit them in there. Pretty simple. We just pop it down and we press and slide. Till you hear a click and there it is. It's in. But as you can see, there's a tiny bit of a wobble there. That's what those screw holes are for, and that's what we got the screws for. Now, if you do anything with a computer, you need a trusty Phillips head screwdriver. Now, mine's grounded, which is kind of nice, so you don't actually end up killing anything accidentally with static electricity. Which is another thing. Bare hands, no bare feet on carpet, no woolly type of clothing or things on your hands or anything, and touch a metal piece like computer chassis or anything else, you just ground yourself. You don't want to end up accidentally killing something with static electricity. Take out the little screws, pop them down there. Oops, don't want them to fall away. Now, let's attach them. You don't want to make them too tight, just tight enough to hold it. So we'll go and attach the parts that are the loosest, which are right here at the end. Try not to touch any of those circuitry if you can. Do you have oils in your hand and you don't want to transfer them? Those are bad. Now we're going to do this in a cross section. So one in the corner, one in the other corner. And then the same that way. I'm just going to pop these in here with my finger. Make it a bit quicker. Now it's also awfully cold at the moment, so I'm not wearing a hoodie or a jumper or sweater because you don't want anything for extra static electricity in case you accidentally fry your system because you won't even notice if you do that, which is not what you want. So there we have it, nice and secure. Now let's plug this in. Move the camera for you so you can get a nice little view. Alright, there you can see my graphics card. And we're going to plug it into the same slots as above. So first things first, you need to take out the little support bracket here, which keeps the PCI Express cards in place. The top screw is always the toughest for some reason. I seem to tighten it a bit 
too much sometimes. But it's a thumb screw, so it's not too bad. And it's spring loaded to keep it in place. You can see there? Alright. Bring this a bit closer if I can for you. Okay, now there's the graphics card. We want to put it up there. First things first, the retention bracket has to go back. So you press the button there at the fan, press and slide. It's got a little retention bracket to keep the graphics cards and everything in place. But it's not too important. Now let's take out one of these extra slots. I'm going to go for the very top one. All right, there's that. Now let's slot in my solid state drive. Okay, there it is. Put the retention bracket back. Now, let's see if it jiggles. Hopefully not too much. No, nope. nice and in place. Now, let's put the retention bracket back in and keep it all nice and happy. Top, screw the bottom one into it, and then the top one. You want to do them both at the same time, a little bit at a time, so you don't over tighten it and so that you don't have torque on either end. Alright, there we go. My solid state drive is installed on the PCI Express Rust. Now, let's start this system up and see if everything went perfectly, shall we? Okay, so we've just booted into the computer. And as you can see, I've opened the disk utility, and there we have it. Samsung SSD 840 EVO 250 gig. Now, it did say it can't read it or use it, but that's because of this. If you look there at the bottom, it says partition map scheme unformatted. It's not formatted, so the computer can't use it yet. So let's fix that, shall we? And click here at Erase, and we want Mac OS X journaled. Now, we're going to name it OS 10 because I'll be installing Mavericks on this as soon as I can because this is exactly what it's going to be. It's going to be my main operating system drive with just with a few apps. So after we have that, Erase Journaled, we click Erase. And it says, Are you sure you want to erase it? I'm like, Yes, I do because I want to format it. And there we go. It's busy formatting it, and there we have it. OS 10, there's my new drive. Now after it's been formatted, you can see it's a tiny bit smaller not that much. Okay, so I've just formatted the drive. You can see it's named there as OS 10. Now, let's actually see if it's running at its proper speeds of over 400 megabytes a second or thereabouts considering it's now on the PCI Express bus. We'll go here and we'll select target drive. Now the one we want is there, OS 10. We'll choose that and let's click start speed test. Now you can see there, significantly faster than a mechanical drive. <laughs> That's a remarkable improvement. Considering if I plug that in directly into the optical bay or normal SATA speeds, that would be around 250 mostly. And I, you can see there, I can read and write all the formats I need, especially for media encoding and using Final Cut Pro. Not too shabby. So I'm L. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, especially if you want to see more videos like this. And bye bye.